I went to school for fiction writing um, at Columbia University. I was in their MFA uh, fiction writing program. And while I was there, I discovered that what I really had an affinity for was visual storytelling and, and screenwriting. And um, that, was, that was sort of what I wanted to do. So when I moved to LA, I got involved with this group called Filmmakers Alliance, and they were really instrumental in me becoming a filmmaker. They used to do a, a grant every year for one filmmaker that was like a, a package from Panavision and a package from Kodak and a certain amount of money to help you make your first film on film. So I submitted this 13 minute screenplay. It was like under 15 minutes called The Guitar Player's Girlfriend. And it was my first real um, short screenplay that I was gonna direct myself. And I won the award. So I'd, I'd made some shorts and I was working on a feature screenplay and then 2008 happened and nobody had any work. Um, and I ended up going to Austin to work in the game industry. Uh, so I moved here to Austin. Um, I loved Austin. I had never had any idea that I was ever gonna move out of LA. I was like, I'm gonna be a filmmaker. And then life took me this way. Um, and I met my husband and I got married and I worked in games for a couple of years, like three or four years. But I always wanted to go back to making films. Thought of this as my, my low budget feature. And another producer had um, optioned it for a couple of years. And so when it came back to me, I decided this is, this is my chance to do this. So I decided to do a Kickstarter and make this movie and get my budget together uh, that way. And in 2014, we launched the Kickstarter. I cast it with local talent in Austin. And uh, we ended up getting a little bit of investment from people that I knew from college uh, actually came forward and said, if you want to do real investment with this, um, that will actually make some money back, we'll do that. With a very skeletal crew, we started shooting in Austin and we had, I think, a week and a half to, to shoot the entire thing. And the crew was, was a very small crew. Um, they were awesome. Half of them were from Jimmy John's. I'm pretty sure that Jimmy John's was wondering what scene queen was because apparently we were paying more than they were and all of their all of their delivery guys were coming over and working on the film for a couple of days. So I'm sure this Jimmy John's was like, who is this person? Like, what is scene queen? But they had all gone to film school together in Oklahoma or something. They were really great and uh, they got the job done. The cast was very young. They were all like 18, 19 years old, and they were um, they were fantastic. They nailed it in like a couple of takes. We worked with my DP from uh, from LA. She flew out to work on it, and uh, Rachel Brenner, our, our uh, makeup person, came out from LA, and we just we banged through it, and um, it was a really positive experience. So when I got out of school, uh, I got very lucky and went to work at DC Comics in New York and uh, was a multimedia editor there, uh, working on CD-ROMs and audio dramas back in the days when people worked on CD-ROMs. Um, and we did, it was, it was like games, but it was more multimedia. I got lucky because it was at a time when, if you knew a little bit about that field, you knew more than most people. So um, I got to work with some of the greats in the comic book industry. Um, I became friends with Denny O'Neill, and he was the first person who hired me to, uh, to write a Batman comic. I got to write the first adventure of Cassandra Cain, who's the Asian Batgirl, and that was really cool. We're hoping she comes back a lot more. In 2017, I wrote Angel City with uh, my collaborator Megan Levins, who was the artist, and we did that through Oni Press. And that's more of a Hollywood noir um, period piece. It's set in the 30s in Hollywood, and it's uh, about Dolores Dare, who's a stunt person slash uh, cocktail waitress who ends up solving crimes. That actually ended up getting nominated for a couple awards. 
Most recently, I'm working on uh, the Curie Society, which is coming out from Einhorn Epic Productions. The Curie Society is based on the idea that there's this secret society of girl scientists, and it was, it's, it was founded by Marie Curie, and they recruit at universities, and they ask really promising female scientists to join them, and so this group of like three uh, undergraduate science students, uh, they're, they're new rushes for the Curie Society and they're solving crimes with science. It's like a superhero story, but it's using real science. Like, it's like if, if Tony Stark was really doing stuff today and was making like bionic arms and, you know, CRISPR gene technology, if he was working with stuff like that. The stuff that we're talking about feels very cutting edge, but it's actual real science, so it's pretty cool. For upcoming projects, I have a story in Wonder Woman Black and Gold that's going to be coming out, I think, this summer. And I am working on some other projects with my agent, which I just signed with, so um, for the book market. So stay tuned. I can't really talk about them yet, but um, it's very exciting. <laughs>